of the phrases you will hear this year a lot is warrior wingspan. Kelly Oubre had a rejection here. Gary Harris thinks he's home free. And Oubre blocks that from behind clean. And Bob, tell us about Oubre and then all the seven-foot wingspans. This is the longest team I think the Warriors have had. Yeah, it's tremendous. I mean, and, and I think wingspan, you know, 10, 15 years ago, people didn't even probably even talk about it or measure it or care about it. They were more concerned with how high your head was. But you learn pretty quickly that it's really the length of your arm, the standing reach, your wingspan, that often determines your effectiveness of blocking shots and passes. And Draymond's a good example. He's, Draymond might be shorter than me, but his arm's about six, six inches. And so it's important, and you just see it in the defense. I mean, just by playing basketball, those big hands in the passing lanes are a problem for offensive players. That's when your defensive upside is just through the roof. When you can get beaten and then have that recovery like he just did there, there was a back cut. Kelly Uber came over to help, and he was able to block that one. That was not easy to do. Yeah, see, I, I can't relate to any of that. Clear. I was the guy that got by my guy and then got blocked. <laughs> so I, I don't know what it's like to, to do that stuff. I have no idea what it's like to block somebody's shot. Now, we went to break. I was asking about the Western Conference, and Pascal fouled there. But, you know, Lakers, Clippers, Denver, Utah, all right? You know, that four, and then you look at – a uh, Dallas, a uh, Phoenix, a uh, four. Oh, then by the way, Ja Moran in Memphis, Zion in New Orleans, De'Aaron Fox, Buddy Heald in Sacramento. I mean, Bob, what a conference this year for the West. Yeah, and, and nobody's really not trying to win. I mean, it, it's, it's, uh, it's hyper competitive. It's uh, our division alone is arguably the best in the NBA with, uh, with, with the, obviously the Lakers, Clippers. So Phoenix got a lot better. Um, and you know, Sacks, like I said, up, up and coming. So the West is, honestly, I don't know if it's ever been into the NCAA tournament, which is, I don't know how that quite works. But, but in any event, I like it with the rules. If you're one of the seven, eight, I think you've got to be beat twice. Is how I view it, I think. Yep. So, it, yep. you know, your record, regular season record still matters. I mean, if, you, if you're one of those seven, eight, you just got to win one game and not lose two. So that's now, This is a personal thing, but, it, but it's also... A uh, good thing for the Warriors. We are enjoying watching Kavon Looney back and playing. And in one, you pull for him, and, and so glad that he's healthy. But but Bob, he is the perfect Wiseman tutor. Oh yeah. But, I mean, I would just attach Kavon to, to James Wiseman, and you throw in Marquise Chris. What what a nice little center. Absolutely. And, and, and two good guys to to teach a younger guy like that. Yeah, clearly he's one of our smartest players. And. But this really is going to take a, a, a diligence that I don't think it, we've ever seen in pro sports. Yeah, I think you're right. And it's not, not, it, you know, people forget about these athletes who, you know, if they make a mistake, it affects the whole team. I mean, if we make a mistake, hopefully it affects us. But not a whole industry and a whole, our whole team. So in that respect, yeah, it's going to take self-discipline. It's going to take discipline amongst uh, your teammates, amongst your coaching staff, amongst goodness. the front office. And hopefully we all can toe the line. But, but there's times where people might do something that's completely considered harmless and they end up getting caught you know, right. in a tough yeah. situation. So, yeah, you know. can do everything right and still right. have a positive test. So. Yeah. Gary Harris leaking out. And Bob, thanks for joining us. Thanks for taking the time. We love the team you put together. And it's going to be an interesting year, and one that we'll be talking about as we get through 2020 and 2021. Appreciate thanks for you, taking Bob. the time. Thanks for having me, guys. That is Bob Myers. Warriors take time after the Denver fast break. Any egregious defensive breaks of Galenas. There is a lot to like about his game. Yeah. I mean, he really is an intriguing player. He just competes on both ends. Or tough, gritty. You always love to have those types of players on your team. He, him and Draymond are on the same wavelength. And they play obviously different positions, but their approach to the game, their mentality, the toughness, the grittiness, just going people. Marquise Chris missing that corner three. Jokic has 22 and 10 in 21 minutes, by the way. Mm, I mean, he he is not cooled off from the playoffs at all. Bonafide superstar. You're talking about Coach Kirk calling a couple of timeouts. Listen, the, the preseason is sped up this year. You want to be a little further along earlier. So they're trying to get things tuned up and fast track everything. Yeah, that's it. We had uh, Joe Lincoln and Bob Myers on. I want to thank all the loyal season ticket holders, all of Dub Nations for the patience and support. I mean, this is always a true home.
court advantage. And obviously, we miss your energy, enthusiasm, the smiling faces. And can't wait to welcome you back to Chase Center. To reward the fans for the support. You know, you know what I'm saying? Like that's and Bob Myers works because he grew up in the Bay Area and he's been a Warrior fan his whole life. He works so this team can be good because people know the passion and the fervor. You know, we got the you know the Raiders moved to Vegas. We had the two football teams and the two baseball teams. We got the one basketball team, and that's the one the whole Bay you know comes together to support. So I just know these guys well enough that. Hey, Kalina, they're, they're working all the time to try to make this team as good as it can be. And for sure. You know, and this is a it's a challenging year because, you know, sports is in its proper context, man. The real world is on fire right now. Right. So, you know, anything that two and a half hours to have fun, make you smile, make you laugh a little bit. I mean, that's that's what Warrior Basketball is trying to bring this year. Well, the organization has just done a great job. The owners, the front office, the coaches, the players, the, the synergy is just palpable. And obviously they've worked hard to establish a culture here, but you're right. This this is weird. Use the code DUBS25 at checkout at shop.warriors.com. So uh, I'm getting my number seven Oakland Forever jersey. I'm getting my Azabuki <laughs> jersey. Uh, that's, that's the one. I might need one of those. Jokic will sit. He had 12 points in that third. Infectious, you know, bubbly energy to him. I think Bazemore's the same. I think that fits in nice. Jordan, straight up again. No reaching. You know, I think that Jordan Poole and Pascal. But while you're on the court, you don't have to wear a mask. Just be around and, and make sure that G League. We, we saw him come back a new man. And I think it really humbled him, made him reach. I got to put the work in here. If I'm going to reach my full potential, and, and that's one thing about organization, you can reach your full potential here. They're going to be hands on. They're going to watch film. We got, hey, we got championships when it comes to basketball. Uh, Come on now. Yeah, what have you done for me lately? I'm Come just on. saying. I'm just saying. Notre Dame ain't making too much noise lately either. No. <laughs> it's an offensive foul in Denver after the Dozier miss. Um, when you see the second unit. The difference with Wanamaker kind of running things, he's working satellite off him. Marquise is the center here. We've seen Jordan Poole be more comfortable. I mean, Brad Wanamaker, in a very short period of time, has filled a very nice need in that backup role to Steph. He's just under control, poised, under pressure. We've seen him with the shot clock running down. Just take your time, do your thing. He's not going to turn the ball over. And again, Maybe the market wasn't as, as great as it was for him because he's just not that flashy type player and he's not going to be having a ton of highlights and all those different things. But he understands how to play. He can get you into your offense. He'll talk to the guys, the adult in the room. He gives you that vibe, right? And that's what you need coming off the bench. Or he needed that badly. He played in Italy, France, Germany, Turkey. Wanamaker's 31. Two years in, with the Celtics. Kind of a jump ball on the rebound, and Denver stayed with it, and Dozier, and then bodies. You just, in the preseason, you want everybody to be okay here. That was a really good defensive possession until the offensive rebound. You just got to finish it with a defensive rebound. But they got in from the weak side, clogged up the paint, the roll to the basket, made it tough on Hardenstein to finish, but then weren't able to grab the rebound. I think the Warriors will be a reasonable rebounding team this year. Should be. I mean, that's the they got they got length at a lot of different spots. You know, obviously Draymond is a tremendous rebounder, but you had Looney and Marquise and Wiseman. I think that's one thing where people be anxious. You know, James Wiseman, he's 19. He played three college games. He hasn't played a basketball game for a year. I, I think patience with a younger player there is going to be critical because the Warriors open with the Brooklyn Nets, then they have the Milwaukee Bucks. <laughs> right into the fire. You know, come on. And, and, Nothing and, easy. And then to not be, you know, full go in training camp right now for a younger player, that that's, you know, we saw, we were just talking about Jordan Poole. He had, he had, you know, last year, and it was still, you know, at the deep end of the pool. So for uh, these younger guys, the, the transition and adjustment to the speed and size and strength of the game, particularly if you're a big guy, it's not easy. It'll be tough. But James Wiseman is a pretty mature young man. Just listening to him talk and 
if I'm him, I'm just focused on the defensive end, running the floor, yeah. grabbing every rebound like you're talking about, being that defensive anchor, blocking shots. He's talked about being able to switch out onto guards and move his feet. That's one thing I want to see from him, the lateral quickness. What kind of lateral quickness can he show and display switching out onto those guards on the perimeter and not just being one-dimensional, dropping back into the paint off of that pick-and-roll defense like a lot of bigs like to do, like Nikolai Jokic likes to do. He's more mobile than that, and I think that's something he wants to show. If you're looking for a way to keep the kids active and safe during the holiday season, the Warrior Basketball Academy will be offering two special holiday virtual camps, make it easy to participate from home. Session 1, December 21st to 23rd. Session 2, 28 to 30. GSWacademy.com. Now, R.J. Hampton committed that foul. Tell me about Hampton a little bit, one of the, the Nuggets' first-round picks. Remember him? So he, had, he was highly touted coming out of high school, right? And he made waves and, and big news when he decided to, to forego the conventional way, going to college, and, and went overseas to New Zealand and, and didn't really do much there. But he didn't even get up to nine points a game. He didn't even start. And he still got drafted 24th. Now, obviously, if he did what people expected him to do in New Zealand, like like his guy, LaMelo Ball, he probably would have been a lottery pick. But he was still first round and didn't start over there. But the one thing about him, he is usually the fastest man on the court. And he's got a really quick first step. He can score against defenses that aren't set in transition. He is a blur in transition and fast break. But in half court, he struggled a little bit in New Zealand, so obviously there's a lot of upside, and, and the Nuggets see that, but it's just kind of interesting to me that he went over there and didn't really do as much and still got drafted 24. I guess a big name and the politics help. We're going to have a coach's challenge here. There it is. On the first foul on Wanamaker. We had our first coach's challenge of the preseason, and this was Brad Wanamaker on the drive. Facundo Campazzo yeah, was, was overturned. Yeah, this was called a charge. It was not a charge. But his foot is on the line. Well, you can't see it. Now you can see it there. And he was moving a little bit. Well, the bigger thing is, once a player's begun the upward motion, you can't jump underneath them like no. that. There was three things he did wrong <laughs> yeah, that yeah. made it not an offense. So he was moving. He wasn't outside the restricted area. And he jumped underneath the guy who had already elevated. So, um... That is a blocking foul, and that will be free throws for the man who led the NBA in free throw shooting last year at 93% in Brad Wanamaker. Very really good free throw shooter. And, and he nearly went broadcasting jinx as he Almost. ripped that around. He fought <laughs> through it. You made it tough on him. You can tell he felt it. Normally his shots are just switches. Hey, ten, no month, rim. ten months later, you still can jinx free throw shoot. So, <laughs> and that still works. Uh, yeah. But, you know, we joke about it, Kalena, but at the end of games, uh, I'll take another 93% oh, free throw huge. shooter. Come on now, that's huge. Final three seconds of the third, Monte Morris will back up, and Marquise Chris made that a difficult three. So, Jokic dominated the third. Warriors were playing with a 20-point.